Oh yeah, our first fish today, folks. The spawn has definitely started and um, we're up here in the morning, kind of prepping for a guide trip, to be honest with you, trying to get an idea of where to start because you can hit so many different spots. I like to come out here a day before sometimes and just kind of feel out different areas I haven't fished in a while. This is one of them creeks where you don't have any houses around you and you're just trying to get an idea of this is something you can come to in the morning. And what I'm looking for right here, if you look guys, you can see the balls right here and they're just sitting amongst the weeds and we're trying to find a hot spot. And once we find a hot spot, and usually you'll see a lot of activity on that live scope right there. Some of these guys are just sitting out here, roaming around. I've always talked about that. It's probably one of the most enjoyable parts of uh, the season is the pre-spawn when they're coming in. There's quite a few more when they're when we're talking pre-spawn, but but you can see, you know, individuals right here, and they're pretty aggressive, man. They'll come right at it. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to get this guy right here, but we're gonna try. Right there, he is, and he already went to it. Look at that. So there, and there we go. We got him. What a Look at that. <laughs> that is so fun. I mean, it just doesn't get you better. Just super aggressive fish. If it hits that water, letting them go. Letting them go at three pound fishing. Now, if you guys are interested in a guide trip, hook me up. Hit me up. Um, we are hitting record numbers this year on guide trips. It's been a lot of fun. And uh, see this? I can see like, kind of some spots there. I'm looking for this right here. Come right over the top of it. See if we got anybody that's crazy that's in there. I'll ride this log if you can see that bait coming. Again, I like to stay natural. I like to still, you know, pretty aggressive run from them. I like to uh, speed it up opposed to slowing it down. And uh, at least on my home lake, they seem to pick up on that real quick if, that if you drop. Got an aggressive one here. And as soon as they put their nose down, I tend to yeah, he might still hit it. He's checking it out. There's one right there. Oh, he's a small guy. Oh my gosh, that was fun. See, man, you can have just a ton, of, ton, ton, ton of fun. What was I going to tell you guys? Oh, the new three pound fishing rods. Super excited. The number one 10 footer, without a doubt is gonna be out in about a month, month and a half. They're already completed, um, finishing up packaging, and they should be out here shortly. I'll be sharing a lot of details with those three pound fishing rods. You're gonna be able to get them at PTG. You're gonna get, allow, get them at a lot of bait stores, but most importantly, you're gonna get them at three pound fishing. They're not affiliated with any other rod company. They are the new three pound fishing rod series from three pound fishing. So look forward to sharing that with you. Also, these rods are gonna be coming um, available also is going to be reels we have the new three pound fishing reels going as well so very excited a lot of things happening um, i'm going to continue to try to post as much as i normally do but i can tell you that it's taking a lot of time and setting that up but i'm um, really really doing and appreciating everybody's support because i'm getting a lot of comments about where can i get them blah 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 and i i do appreciate that um i'm sorry i'm trying to stay quiet because there's a guy over here but um Right now, all we're doing is we're casting with the four strand sniping braid. And I like action on the spawn, in the spawn, although I don't know if it's really needed. Um, I just like a, a, a paddle tail. So check out the three pound fishing paddle tails. That's what I'm using right now. And uh, let's put some more fish in the boat. Started to drop on a few here. You can see this fish coming right here, guys. Now watch, it'll probably slow down right in front of us. And that's when you're gonna go after him. And usually around six, eight feet, especially when you got clarity that allows you to do it. So he's right here now. Unless he does a U-turn. All right, so here's a great example. Another location. You can see these guys all swimming around the top of this, this, um, 
basically it's some type of structure. I'm not even quite sure what it is, but um, and I'll just throw it in there. And usually, if they're pretty aggressive fish, they're coming after this sucker. It's a little bitty hair jig I like to use, and they've all kind of moved off right there. But let's see here. Hold on one second here. So there it is in line. Oh, and then you'll see these ones that are right below the boat right now. There he is. He turned. Look at this. Boom. There he is. Just because they're outside of the, the, the spawning area. doesn't have to be, I guess everything's a spawning area technically, right? Because they can spawn at any depth. But look at that. Beautiful, right? All I'm doing is using a 10-footer and just essentially scoping these fish when they're around the boat. You have to be kind of fluid and... Uh, when I say fluid, you have to be able to adjust real quick. You're going from casting to vertical jigging to, you know, just sniping. Um, there's a guy moving in. He, who knows, he could be a crazy bass. Yeah, he slowed up right there. When they, when they slow up, yep, he just came back for it. Look at this. Hold on here. He just came back for it. Nope, right here. Yeah, probably a bass. But anyway, I look back here, and I, I start, as I start going backwards, I start noticing fish underneath the boat. Um, got one right there, little guy. But they seem to be just about everywhere right now. Just now making their way in. Isn't that fun? That's just crazy good fishing. Again, we're just kind of on a search mode right now as to where the hot spots are going to be for the guide trip tomorrow so this is i'm exploring areas that i don't typically fish in the morning well to be quite honest with you i just don't have time to go check them out like this and checking them out in the morning is key because the game definitely changes as the day progresses i think that the fish tend to they start to you know tuck into those weed edges a lot tighter and a lot of them will hang on that structure outside these spawning areas. So if your game is to is the cast up against the weed edge, you want to make that you want to do that in the morning to see if they're still up there and they're far enough away from the weed edge to really make it an easier bite for you. Sorry about that. Three pound fishing black jig head, three pound fishing monkey milk, paddle tail. That is the key. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. There's a good solid fish, folks. That's what I'm talking about. That is a can we get a can we get a beautiful glisten of that fish? Look at that. That is a that's they going back just looking for activity is all it is. Real simple, and these fish are coming a long way for these baits right now. Now you don't always have to fish with a paddle tail or curly tail, all that stuff. Although I find it quite enjoyable, obviously. But I've been fishing a lot with uh, even floats, uh, slowing down the entire presentation is something that I've learned to really appreciate. Um, you see a lot of that on my uh, leg too. You see a lot of that. Um, and that's a lot has probably a lot to do with the fact that you know we fi we fish next to a weed edge so Let me show you how that works. Let me show you that that's this is probably One of the tricks of the trade Educate you real quick on floats first off. This is called a slit float See the slit right there and why that's important is it makes it really easy to put it on and off on and off of your line so in other words i don't have to re-rig i don't have to go through all the uh, bobber stopper stuff all i do is slip it onto the line and there's these pegs i'm gonna have to find there's a peg and all you do is you insert it into the float it's called a, it's a peg float with a slit on it so it's a slit float right there and that is my my go-to i've got a bag of these in the boat and now we're just going to sit this right on side, outside of that weed edge with a hair jig. So that's a tip. I'm telling you right now. Slip floats. Always have them in your boat. You can slow down the presentation if you think that's a problem. Or you just want to enjoy watching a float go down. So a lot of action right here. So we're just going to... 
There it is. Man, that's... <laughs> that's awesome. That's awesome. So many different ways to fish in the spawn, I'm telling you. tell you the other thing what I love about this float is it allows me to get into areas you know again next to the weed edge is awesome because you can get super close to the weed edge right because it drops straight down now on a slip float it doesn't drop straight down it will pendulum in but I can tell you that it's typically good enough boom oh man typically good enough now if I were going to be fishing really deep with a float I'd probably go with a slip float again key on the word slip and slit are the key are the keys there but there it is look at that guys just sitting it right there sometimes they don't want it moving and sometimes they want a much smaller target sometimes they want a hair jig and us and the float is a real good option so and there's more right here i probably could catch them too let's see there he is is he going to be active let's see yep he's coming up to it I'm just watching the float. Sometimes I'm watching the screen if he closes the gap on it or not. Um, he got spooked by something. I'm not quite sure what happened there, but um, I will I will fish with a uh, slit float all the way to probably around five feet. So anything less than five, I, I go with the slit float. I, I don't like messing with the bobber stoppers if I don't have to. They just seem to be more work there i am just throwing it right in the middle of this tree and typically if they see something even remotely sees it i can draw it back really slow and if i see some action on i might speed it up like i just did there just to stay on the same yep and he hit it gosh dang it and oh that's another great fish telling you folks those are just some tips i appreciate you try all these different techniques sniping them outside of you know spawning areas is incredible using a float like this is incredible just a great opportunity the spawn time enjoy your time out there too bring the kids that's just something that needs to happen the kids need to get out there this is a great time thanks for watching please subscribe to three pound fishing guys have a great one